Hey, this is Anthony Ha with TechCrunch, and I am here with Brent Brookler, the founder and CEO of Flowboard. Um, so, but yeah, what, what is Flowboard? Flowboard is touch publishing. It's uh, a platform to create and publish interactive stories, presentations on your iPad and publish to any device. So you're creating them on the iPad, publishing them anywhere. Yes, exactly. Great. Well, why don't you maybe take us through a demo? Sure, quick, I'll just jump right in. Uh, I've already logged in, so I'm just going to hit the Create uh, button. We have a number of te uh, templates. We have about 17 right now, more added uh, each week. We added three last week, including this Science Rules template. Um, first page is created for you. I'm going to create a, a second screen and I'm just going to drop this screen hit in here. And I can quickly go in and uh, and select this object. I'm actually going to put an object on top of that. And what's cool is you create an object and it's all guided by touch and gestures. You tap and then you drop in anything you want. So I'm going to go to image, uh, Google search. I already had searched for TechCrunch. I tap the button, it drops it in. I can make this bigger or smaller. I can even flip it around. Um, and I could even over here make a link. I can make a web link or a link to another screen. So we're building truly interactive uh, presentations and, and, and interactive stories. And I could also center it completely. Mm -hmm. So wh what do you think is the advantage of being able to sort of create these presentations slash stories um, on a tablet versus on a, on a laptop or well, desktop? Well, as you know, uh, iPad is increasing sales. Uh, it's up to 120, 140 million iPads sold, and people are trying to ditch their uh, laptops their, and their desktops. And so they want to be able to do anything they can on the road at right. their home. And so we are enabling that kind of conversion. Right. So you talk about this again as, as sort of a presentation slash uh -huh. story, which is kind of an uh -huh. awkward way to put it. Um, uh -huh. So, I mean, to what extent do you think this is sort of a replacement for a PowerPoint presentation? To what extent do you think it's, it's something new and different? Uh, it, it could be, but we're not going after that exact. Like, we don't have tables and <laughs> charts and bullets. We're going after really interactive storytelling, and we feel like we are iterating and innovating on what the presentation um, uh, medium should be. Everything is, it's, we're living in a world that's all internet based and it's all touch and multimedia and it's app focused, it's a mobile first product. So when you create these, these presentations or flowboards, they feel like a, an app almost experience. Mm -hmm. We also have video and we also believe very fundamentally in offline access. So right. these, this is made for the, the tablet specifically, and it works on in, in the browser, so there's, there's ubiquity. Right. So, so and one of the things you were showing earlier was, was these sort of different templates, uh -huh. and we've got this, this science template. Yeah. What, what, what makes it a science template? Well, it, it's more stylistic okay. uh, than, than actual functionally. Uh, it's just there's graphs, and it has like the science feel. Like, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the other templates we have, and I can, I can go back and just show Great. you that again, um, we really uh, purposely have a varied amount of templates so the dif for different uses uh, the, the photo album is like purely social kind of thing dark showcase could be uh, for portfolio and then we have you know, typical uh, presentations we have a scrapbook uh, mm -hmm. and then catalog and cooking recipes and then more presentations we also have a, the school report thing which is kind of geared to be the little k k12 right we're seeing a lot of traction with uh, teachers and students. I had no idea that teachers were so uh, uh, early adopters in terms right. of iP iPad for uh, for use in the classroom. Right. So when you were looking, at, when we were looking early, it looked like were, were there some completed presentations that we could maybe take a look at? Or? Sure. Yeah. Uh, we that. have a, a catalog where we feature some of the best presentations. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at this uh, Fiat one brought in by a gentleman out of uh, out of Italy. Um, it's already cached to my device. Just going to quickly launch it. And so this is, he's using that summer photo album uh, template, and he dropped in all his own images. You go to the next screen, and you see that logo right, right there. That's a gallery. Mm -hmm. So they have, Flowboards have like an added depth that, that PowerPoints don't have, right. where you can go in into a deeper dive, and right. you can zoom and z out and zoom in. Right. Um, and then when I finish, then I keep on going. A, uh, an example could be, say you're giving a presentation, and you want to go deeper into one topic, you can or you can't by just tapping into this slideshow. Mm -hmm. and, and it's all, the thumbnails are available there. This is all, the reason why it's moving so fast is it's already offline. Right. And you can and zoom and create. How long do you think it would take, take to create a, a flowboard like that? You, you call them, is the, the unit yeah. is like a flowboard. Yeah. Yeah. How long would it take to create one of those? Uh, it probably, we, our goal is to, is using our templates, 
if you already have your content kind of like scoped out, you know, right, in, right. in five minutes you'll be able to build something. Okay. And then probably you can tinker it for as long as you want. People like to tinker. They want to change images and change the, the uh, you know, zoom in or zoom out. And they want, maybe want to add or, or rearrange things. So our goal is to make it as fast as possible, to make something beautiful. Right. And then people tinker. For, it's amazing how much people just keep on changing and adding right. and editing. So you, you launched this, what, like a month ago now? A few weeks ago, A yeah. few weeks ago. Yeah. And I know that you've actually been already been rolling out some, some updates. I yep. mean, how, how has the product changed since you first launched it? Uh, we added, we didn't have, I could show you, uh, you might have seen it kind of f flashing. We added, it's really an important piece to, uh, to touch publishing. We added um, the, the ability, you see these blue lines? We added right. snap guides. That oh, way cool. you can make things pixel perfect. We also added... Uh, um, duplication, so I can hold down, oops, and it'll duplicate that object. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we already shipped a 1.1. We right. had a complaint from our users. We weren't using the iPhoto albums and events. Right. So we quickly turned it around, and within two weeks, we had, we had an update out with that in there. Okay. Uh, and coming next is uh, Undo. Okay. And, which is a huge. <laughs> that is it's, important. It's, yeah. it's funny how it's so simple, but it's actually there's there's some right. engineering there. Mm -hmm. And then we also have uh, YouTube videos coming. Right. Right. Which we think is uh, is going to be it's going to be pretty nice. Right. So you guys are are a startup yourself. Yeah. Um, do you have you built a, you know an investor pitch deck in Flowboard? Oh yeah, of course. I don't I don't send I don't send PowerPoints. I don't send PDFs. I mm -hmm. send Flowboards. I send a URL. All right, great. Well, thanks so much for coming by. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me.